Hello everyone, this is Alex from alexlancer.com and in our previous tutorials we went through views, the simple usage of views, then we took a look at um, view cells and in this last part regarding views I would like to take a look at layouts. Layouts will really simplify the way that we can structure our HTML and how we can organize it throughout our project. So let's get started. So I'm turning to my screen here and let's see where we left off at our in our previous tutorial. So we have created these components here which are post items and let's go back to our blog.php controller. So inside of our blog controller, as you can see, we're echoing the for each and every page. We are repeating the templates header file and templates footer file. Uh, and the same we do, let's say, in our post method. But imagine what happens if we will have 50 methods that will have to do this. And then suddenly we will decide to change the header location or uh, maybe even the name of the file. And maybe we'll do the same for the footer. So when, when you have a large project, this will be, this could become a really serious issue. So a better and more convenient way to, to render your views is using the so-called layouts. So what are the layouts? Let's take a look here. Let's go first of all in our views folder and let's create a new folder. Let's name it layouts. Inside of our layout layouts folder let's create a new file that we will name main.php so this will be our main layout now inside of our main.php file let's copy and paste everything that we have in our header and everything we have in our footer So inside of our div container, let's mark this part that this will be the dynamic part of our layout. So how we do this? Simply by saying this render section and the name you will give to this section doesn't really matter as long as you will use this name in your views files later on. So let's say this will be our content section. Now let's go back to our controller and we don't need this anymore. We don't need this anymore. And instead of echoing here, let's make, let's return this view function. So return block uh, the data. So in our block.php view file, now at the beginning of the file, we have to specify that this view file extends an existing layout. So we do that again by saying echo this extend and then you specify the name of the layout. So if the layout uh, would be inside of our views folder, of course, we would just give the name of the file of that, uh, or the name of the file. But uh, because it is inside of a subfolder uh, that is name, named layouts, so I will specify layouts and then main. Now, 
once we specify this extend uh, method, Code Igniter knows that it has first it, it needs to load the layout that we just created. But also inside of our layout, if you remember, we specified a render section, this one here, that we have to call now inside of our view file. So we will say echo this this se this section content the name should match the name that you request in your layout i'm repeating that again so and once your section once you completed your section you also might, must specify the end of the section by saying this um, this section end or actually this end section like that so if we go and check and reload our blog as you can see nothing has changed and this is exactly what we want because now we can go to our to our post method inside of our blog controller and also just return this this view here and remove header and remove uh, footer files so as you can see we really simplified our controller here so one more thing uh, regarding layouts is that we can go now to our to, to our blog layout and we can include in another view inside inside here so let's say we have in our blog we would have some sort of a sidebar so let's go to our again to our components let's create this actually no let's create it inside of our views file um, views folder sorry let's create a new folder and we will call it partials so inside of this partials we can create a new file that we will name sidebar or we could call this like not partials like widgets so let's say sidebar.php and let's create here um, bootstrap list items so list 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 group okay let's grab an example from here let's take this back to our editor and let's just copy paste it here so now that we have this sidebar created what we can do is uh, we can render it so we have a row here let's make it let's separate our row in two parts so this will be our class call 12 call sm9 and above that we will this we will use this method this include simply saying partials so partials sidebar and save so the partials sidebar of course we have to add also our div here and here and let's give it a class of call 12 call sm3 and call sm9 call sm3 yeah correctly so let's check this out here in our on our page and 
first of all, as you can see, this works just fine. We have to adjust a little bit our HTML to use it. So here we have to add a class row. like that so let's refresh this and as you can see now we can simply include another view file within our view file so guys that's all uh, for the layouts in code igniter 4 and basically with this video we we complete the views section let's say of this uh, tutorial series so to uh, the previous the two previous videos we had the simple usage of uh, of the view function then in the previous video we had uh, how to use a view cell to create our own components and to reuse them later and in this video, we will learn about how to use the layouts in Coding Igniter 4. So, in the next video, we will finally start connecting to our database and having some fun with our uh, data modeling. So, see you in the next tutorial.